Mmm, a natto vending machine. Natto, my thing. <laughs> hey guys. We're taking you guys on an omurice adventure. I am feeling very ganky. I've just had lots of coffee. Simon, however... He's so miserable right now. <laughs> Look at that kid running past with energy. How do people handle jet lag? I got like two hours of sleep last night, but I'm really good at living off of really small amounts of sleep because that's just my life. We came back from Sweden and Denmark, and we are totally fucked. I'm sure that was just a big sheep, right? Mm -hmm. That was just like, I might be ganky, but I'm definitely tired and crazy. So get ready for a crazy adventure. <laughs> oh, Simon. Oh, ducky. I, on the other hand. Why are you wearing my hat on your hat? Do not handle sleepiness as well as Martina does. Look at, look at this. Like, what's happening here? All right, look here, pervert. Don't rub my chest in public. Do what I want. Sexual harassment. Blows a whistle. I don't know this lady. <laughs> I don't know. Right now, we are in Koenji City. That's right. I didn't make up that middle part. If you look right here. One of our crazy nights out adventuring. And uh, we went to this bar. Koenji is kind of like a punk rock kind of feel. It's the, it's the grungiest. People with dyed hair, lots of tattoos here. This is where I get my beer trimmed. Everyone's got tattoos at the place also and they play a lot of gangster rap. Oh my God, what a cute location. Oh my God, too ticky. Whoa. I'm sorry. Are we talking about gangster stuff? Yes, it's very gangster. Very Can't gangster. You see? Look at the ice cream everywhere. La, oh my la, gosh. La, la. Like during the daytime, you can come here for a lot of retro feels. They have a lot of uh, vintage shops so, and they have vintage toys and they have a lot of records and stuff. But then at nighttime, it becomes like super grimy, tons of drunk people. All the punk clubs are still here, but they're kind of underground. So are you falling asleep? Koenji is punk. Let's go. But it's very quiet, so you can't hear it. You come here well, and you're I'm like, not Whoa, I love this shop. I mean, just one sec, just wait, just. One second. <gasps> it's a huge hamster. I've always wanted a hamster this big. Ducky, in front of the house? We already have some stuff in front it's of the house. It's only $8. Look, he's like, look at my crotch. Ducky, if there's a Pekingese dog, we have to get it. Excuse me, doggy <laughs> sirs. Have you seen any Pekingese dogs Pekingese. around here? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for something that looks like a peak. Any of you, do you have any answers? How about you? Nope. That looks like memers in the back right there. Okay, all right. Let's, let's You're see. killing me, woman! Let's go. Let's go. Leave. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Hear the birds? I think we should go that way and get out of the sun. That's my theory. Yep. Because guys, Mushi Atsui, it is so hot and humid here right now. This is actually one of our favorite side streets. So normally we come here at nighttime. I've never ever seen it during the day. I just assumed that everything was closed. But if you hang a left, we did a live stream here before. This is a really fun neighborhood. I 10 out of 10 recommend coming here and just exploring all these izakayas when they finally open up. Oh, there it is. See, he sat there. And, and Simon, Simon showed everybody the penis bar. Right. The Tanuki penis bar. Yes, yeah, right. Which I feel like we have to go back to. This is Substore. Substore is an awesome little like record shop. I follow them on Instagram if you guys want to know more about them, but I recommend. I recommend it, 10 out of 10. Oh, ducky. Look at you trying to be ganky. You're not ganky right now. I'm very ganky. Are you? What are we gonna order? All right, so which one do you think you're gonna get? This is the traditional kind. And then we've got some updated versions, tomato toast with cheese. I'm gonna get the tomato Ooh. cheese. Hashed beef, creamy mushroom. This kind of like demi-glaze is the very, like this is the very typical kind and then they have the tomato and ketchup to kind of balance it off. Seasonal with cheese, that looks pretty great. Omo niku. All right, so you're gonna do tomatoes with the cheese. Yeah. Do you want anything to drink? Mmm, water. Lots and lots of water. Okay. For all my hydro homies. Winchink. Which one are you getting? Well, I really wanted that one. <laughs> You can get it too, you know. I hate getting the same thing as you. Guys, does anyone else feel the same? Like if you're going out with someone and it's the first time you've gone to a restaurant, you're like, I really don't want to get the same thing because now we can try things. But maybe you're the kind of person who doesn't like to share. That happens. Also, I have an excessive amount of coins. I'm doing the original one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> I don't have enough. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Back into the pockets you go. I might have a coin. Duh. Duh. 
Du. 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 Hot tip if you come to Japan, make sure you have cash. Yeah, yeah. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Baku. What? Simon's coin, probably. There. It's all worth it. Nino Cheeto from Burrito. Let's go, duck cheese. So what he's doing now is you want to make the rice flavor. So he's doing probably the chicken and the onions, adding in shmeji mushrooms, it looks like. And then after that, you add your sauce. And then the sauce is then added in with the rice. And so the rice is flavored. It's not just like a plain rice underneath it. Tomato cheese. I'm not going to start with any Omo rice facts. I'm just going to start eating it before it gets cold. I got the tomato cheese one. And I gotta tell you, I haven't had an omu rice in a very long while. Look at all that. See that steam? You know what it smells like? Tomato soup. Canned tomato soup. Yeah. It's mm. a very comforting food, so it's not like a fancy food. It's something that Japanese moms would make for their kids. Mm. It's almost like going to a mac and cheese place or having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know? Yep. So I got the half and half one. I've got the same tomato that Simon has, but on the other side I have the demi-glaze. And this is kind of like a sweet, beefy kind of gravy sauce that goes on top of it. I'm gonna go straight on in. Mine has cheese as well. Let's get a nice big bowl of fried comfort food. Mm. Yep, mushrooms, cheese, really fluffy egg on top. It's almost like spaghetti with rice. Right! It's like having spaghetti and cheese. That Onions, is mushrooms, tomatoes. Such a great explanation of it. Yeah, I mean, if, you spaghetti know when you have spaghetti? Yeah. I wonder how many people are appalled by the idea of spaghetti rice, but I think you totally, totally nailed it. Do you like spaghetti? You like rice? Well, guess what we got for you? I have tried to make these before. Okay, like I want to do Martinez Midnight Munchies, but I can suck. I don't know how anyone does it. I looked at cooking with dog. She just does it with like total ease. And I'm like, okay, I get it. You're older than me. You've been cooking for a long time. Just gotta keep practicing. Mix up is great. Scrambling part's awesome. And then suddenly it just turns into like hard cardboard. It's like, I don't know this lush thing that they're doing. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God. Jajangyeon. Is it jajangmyeon? Uh, you know, I wanted to get it. This is called the Hayashi one. Mm -hmm. it smells like jajangmyeon. So and the crunchy onions. Like black bean sauce. But it's not. Is it's that like it? a no? gravy sauce, but it tastes to me like jajangmyeon. Right? I know, mm. a gong just went off in your head and you had that, right? Jajangmyeon is a Korean black noodle. We did like a whole video about it. Jajangmyeon is like spaghetti with black bean sauce. And that's this side. And this is spaghetti with tomato yeah, sauce. But instead of spaghetti, it. they have rice and egg on it. Why not? And pickles on the side. Just like when we had Korean pizza and it came with pickles. Right. <gasps> Are they sweet? Oh my God, that was a whole bane of our existence. Try it. Not my style of pickle. Omu rice actually stands for omu, which is omelette, and rice, which is rice. Now, this is a form of yoshuku, which is kind of like Western style food. You'll sometimes see like a Japanese style spaghetti, in which oh, yeah. you do with like a lot of like hot dogs and ketchup and whatnot. It's not really that like authentic spaghetti, it's their own version of it, and it's delicious. Omu rice, though, I've never actually seen omelette rice anywhere in North America. Is this a European thing? I've seen omelettes. Like France does those fluffy omelettes. Right. 
I've seen lots of fluffy omelets, but I've never seen omelets on rice. So I'm not sure who got the idea of this being Western food. I'll tell you what I think this is. Some drunk dude had way too much old rice in the fridge. They were super hungry. He had a can of tomatoes and he had like leftover bag of cheese. And he was like, I don't know. And he threw in some onions and mushrooms. This is like the pantry pasta that I make. Yes. We have no food in our house. We always have garlic or always have some onion that's like growing a sprout that we're like, should we eat this? We're like, we're gonna. I'm gonna. You know, you try to peel it and it's like, ugh, it's like so withered. We're like, it'll be fine in the center. We always have shmeji mushrooms in the house. And I just want to mention, if you know the word shmeji, that's because when we went to the cat cafe, when Simon shaved off half his beard, right. I took him to a cat cafe and there was a really cute cat and his name is Shmeji. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever and then I found out it means mushrooms. Why was I talking about Shmeji? Oh my God, the jet lag's hitting in for me. <laughs> I, don't ever, I don't ever get tired from jet lag. I get like uh, crazy. crazy. I'm pretty I don't know sure. How you get more energetic than this. And then the snail was like, but if I'm in the shell, the shell shouldn't matter if it's painted blue. It's like a Sailor Moon metaphor, which is why I was trying to say to Simon that the important thing about Omo and rice coming together. What were we doing again? I've got a little garlic and I'm gonna try that out. I know that we focus a lot on like high-end food and we really talk about the history, but this is just comfort food. Look, we are very jet lagged and very out of it and sometimes you just want something junky and you know what omo rice kind of does that for me and that's what i'm feeling right now and i'm digging this i'm gonna sprinkle on some garlic and if anybody tells me you're eating it wrong you can meet me in the parking lot for an ass whooping all right and by ass whooping he'll fall asleep maybe hug you a bit maybe we'll hug. he's a very good hugger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't hug yourself you're gonna fall asleep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. martina actually stole some of my eggs losers be losers Snoozers be losers. Coming Remember that, everyone. He literally got his beard shaved today and said he fell asleep in the middle of shaving. <laughs> <laughs> a man is holding a deadly razor to your throat and you okay. fall asleep. Getting your beard trimmed in Japan isn't just here. He actually shaved my forehead. No joke, he shaved my forehead. He actually shaved all around my ear and inside my ear. He shaved the top and outside of my nose and cut a lot of my nose hairs. You were looking fresh. When you're getting your face on, it's not just here. They do everything here in Japan. How's your butthole? <laughs> it's a nice shave everything and I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, uh, I went to physio. That's what I did <laughs> while you got your beard trim. And I put my hip back in and I'm really happy cause it hurt so much. I would have thought that you'd worn yourself out from that Tuckered 10 myself out. minutes of Pekingese dog statue shopping and man's not hot wrapping, which we're gonna include right now in this video. Oh! Two plus two is four. He's got a frisbee. I chop, chop, chop on the road. Two plus two is four. We're singing man's not hot. That's not the song. Isn't it? Nope. I said man's not hot. Different song. Really? Yep. I thought it starts off with like... It's a similar song, you're just a song racist. That's not true. How does it go for real? Honestly, that's not well, it. What's the rest of it's the song? It's not. It's not it, love. Are you trying to do a British accent? Don't you understand, love? Oh my god, I'm so sorry to all our British viewers. <laughs> I'm never going to show any of the Dan's that we know this because every Dan we know is from Britain. Hey, stop naming your kids Dan if you're from Britain. It's an issue for us. We don't know how to sort our friends. We don't know how to, we don't know like how to film a video like either. Dan, what are we doing? This is supposed to be a video on Omo Rice. What are we doing? Just accept it. It's a crazy video. Okay. Well, I'm stuffed. I gotta say, I think uh, that's about it for this video because my tummy is so full and that made me sleepy. So that's it for this week's small and weird video. If you want to see some of our more weird outtakes from this because we are very jet lagged and very out of it, click on the link here. And if you want to see what the fuck else, <laughs> shaving right, I forgot what I'm saying. If you want to see, I <laughs> don't Let me try again. <laughs> Ha <laughs>